Hello guys, you are welcome to Mathematics class with Flash Isaac. One of the things I plan to do or that I'm working on when it comes to mathematics is solving questions based on topics for different examinations. Today I'll be taking you through number basis past questions, number basis jam past questions and answers. What are the top questions Jam said on that number basis and how do you attempt them? This is our class for today. If you find this class helpful, then you'll certainly find other ones very helpful. So feel free to subscribe to this channel and check out my other videos. They are more than helpful to you. And these questions are gotten from the Flash Learner Jam CBT application. So I simply install the app select the topic i want to study because it gives you an option to choose topic i want number basis so i get all the questions from number basis so i filter out the uh, similar ones to make sure that we're able to cover the different ways the question can come so get the flash learner jam cbt app google play store or visit flashlearners.com to get one now look at the first question here it says if s base 10 is equals 1, 2, 1, 4, base 5. Find S. And the options are 1, 24, 1, 21, 1, 84, and 1, 80. 1. This question is under number basis. 2. If you say 1, base 2 one zero base 2 this is, is very wrong to call this 10 it is an abomination in mathematics so this is one zero base 2 and not 10 base 2 you are permitted to call it 10 if there is nothing written here which means it's naturally in base 10 or if there is something here 10 how do you answer questions like this in number basis when you are given questions in other bases, you need to standardize, try to convert them to base 10. This is already in base 10, and this is in base 5. So if S is equal to this, it means let's look for this value in base 10 to make it the same as this, so that S will actually be equal to that. That is the difference between equations and inequality. For equations, if I say S is equal to 5, it means 5 is equal to s. If I say s is equal to 2y plus 3, it simply means that everything here is equal to everything here. So you must look for a value of y that will make this equal to this. If I say 5 is equal to 2y plus 3, it means everything here sums up to 5. That is equation. But in inequality, if I say 2 is lesser than s, it doesn't mean that s is lesser than 2. It simply means that s is greater than 2. So that is by the wayside. So this is already in base 10. So s in base 10 is equals to convert this to base 10. This is the rule. You simply uh, write 1 times 5, the base here, plus 2 times 5, plus 1, 1 times 5, plus 4. 4 times 5. Then you come here. 0, 1, 2, 3. That is the power. So for this 4 here, it's carrying 0. So let the 0 be on top of 5. 1 is carrying 1. Let 1 be on top of 5. 2 is carrying 2. So let in this case, let 2 be here. 5 is carrying 1 is carrying 3. So 1 times 5 should reduce the power of 3. So that is how to convert to base 10. Any value, any number base to base 10, that is it. If it is 1, 2, 1, 4, base 2. To convert to base 10, you simply write 1 times 2, this 2, plus 2 times 2, plus 1 times 2, plus 4 times 2. Then 0, 1, 2, 3. So 0, 1, 2, 3 on top of the basis. Once you multiply and add, you get the value in base 10. So S base 10 is equals 5 to the power of 3 is 5 times 5 times 5. That is 125. 
Because 1 times 125 is 1 to 5. Plus 5 raised to the power of 2 is 5 times 5. That is 50. 5 25 rather. 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 2 is 50. So plus 50 plus 5 raised to the power of 1 is 5. 1 times 5, 5. Plus 5 raised to the power of 0 is 1. Any meaningful number raised to the power of 0, you get 1. So 4 times 1 is 4. So this gives you 1 to 5 plus 50 plus 5 plus 4. And that should give you 1, 8, 4. In what? Base 10. So S base 10 is equals 184 base 10. This is the correct option. And in case you see something like this, this is a similar question. Uh, 2, Q, 3, 5 is equal 7, 7, base 8. Find Q or Q. What you do here is convert here to base 10, convert here to base 10. In this case, here becomes 2 times 5 plus Q times 5 plus 3 times 5. So 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2 is equals 7 times 8 plus 7 times 8. 0, 1, 0, 1. So once you solve this and make Q subject formula, you get the value of Q. That is how to solve questions like that. Now, if you see something like this also, 1, 2, 1, S plus 1, 1, 2, S is equals 30 base 10. What you simply do is convert here to base 10, convert here to base 10, and equals to this, you get your answer. How do you convert here to base 10? Here is simply 1 to 1 base s. So 1 times s plus 2 times s plus 1 times s, 0, 1, 2. So 0, 1, 2. So s raised power 2 is s squared plus s plus 1. So it's equals, do the same to this, equals 30. So by the time you solve, it will lead you to a quadratic equation. Then you get your answer. So it's simple. Here the answer is 3. So let me see the answer I got here. Here the answer is 2. So you can solve that and see what you get. So let me solve the two other common types of number basis equations. Now looking at this number, there is nothing on that. No base. So we assume that it is a decimal or a number in base 10, which means we can say that convert 13.625 to a binary number. 1, 13.625. Now this number, it has the whole number side and it has the decimal part. So I don't know if you are familiar with solving number basis question with decimal because you can be given stuff like this 2 5 and they say convert to base 2 or 2 5 convert to base 3 how do you convert a number pardon like this to 2 to base 3 to convert the number in base 10 to other bases what you simply do is divide through by the base you are converting to in this case, you are asked to convert 25 base 10 to base 2. So you simply do like this, 2, 25. You keep dividing and you, the remainder should be here. For example, 25 divided by 2, that will give you 12, remainder 1. Because 2 times 12 is 24, plus 1, remainder 1. You keep dividing, you keep the remainder, then you start writing from the bottom. Similarly, here is 25. Three. Remember that to be here and you write. We will do that here. That is how to convert from base 10 to any other number basis. Then to convert from other bases to base 10, we just saw that. This is two parts. Whole, 13, decimal, 0 0.625. So we convert this to binary, 13, 2. 13 divided by 2, you give 30 stops to two persons to share equally. How do they share it? Let's say without a remainder, without decimal point. This will simply give you 6. 
will remain at 1. Because if 1 takes 6 and the other takes 6, 6 plus 6 is 12. So remain at 1. Since we can't split it, it's here. 2 again, we continue dividing by 2 until we get to 0. 6 divided by 2, that is 3. This time around, remain at 0. Because it is being shared equally. 2 again. 3 divided by 2, 1 remains at 1. If two persons are sharing 3, they take 1, 1, 1 remains. Now, 2. 1 divided by 2 is not enough to share, so nobody takes anything. Remains out the 1. So, there is it. We've converted this. You draw an arrow up. Then you start from 1. 1, 1, 0, 1. Put 2 here. So we converted 13 base 10. So that will give you 1101 1, base 2. That is how to convert from base 10 to other bases. And if you are converting this to base 10 to confirm whether you are correct, you simply say 1 times 2 plus 1 times 2, uh, 2 plus 0. 0 times 2 plus 1. 1 times 2. So here is 0, 1, 2, 3. So 0, 1, Okay. Solving this, we should get 13. How about the decimal aspect? This is how you do it. Here, keep multiplying by 2. 2 times 5, 10. You put down 0, remainder 1. True or false? True. 2 times 2, 4. So nothing to plus the one you carry, 5. 2 times 6 is 12, so you put the 1 here, so this 12, the decimal is here, so you should see separate it. We continue. 2 again. 2 times 0, 0. 2 times 5, 10. Put down 0, carry 1. 2 times 2, 4. Plus the 1 you carry is 5. Any other thing, no. Put 0 here. So we are not multiplying by the ones outside the decimal point, just inside. Then we move. Now, 2 again. 2 here. We keep multiplying until we get to 0, 0, 0. 2 times 0 is 0. 2 times 0, 0. 2 times 5, 10. So put down 0, carry 1. So the 1 is here. So this gives us the answer, 1, 0, 1. So the decimal aspect is 1, 0, 1. So how do we combine them? 1, 1. 0, 1, 0.101 base 2. So that is it, converting this to a number in binary. So if you have something else, you keep multiplying like that and putting your answers here until you get 0, 0, 0. So we can watch my number basis videos. I explain more on that. 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. So 1, 1. 1 plus 1 is 1, 0. So, put down 0, carry 1. 1 plus 1 is 1, 0. In base 2, put down 0, carry 1. 0 plus 0, 0. Plus the 1 you carry, 1. 1 plus 1 is 1, 0. Put down 0, carry 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. Plus the 1 you carry, so you have 1 plus 1, 1, 0. Base 2. So this is 1, 0, 0. 1, 0, 1, 1, base 2, if you add directly. But some persons have issues adding binary. In that case, you can choose to convert this to base 10, convert this to base 10, then add them in base 10. When you answer, the answer you get in base 10, convert it back to base 2. So that is it. But the simplest way to attempt questions like this is direct addition. 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 1, 0. So persons will say 10 in base 2. Put down 0, carry 1. 0 plus 0, 0, plus the 1 you carry, 1. 1 plus 1, 1, 0. Put down 0, carry 1. 1 plus nothing or 0 is 1. Plus 1 that we carry is 1, 0. So you get this. So that is it on number basis questions set 
in jam. So I hope you found this helpful. Feel free to let me know how you feel. Subscribe to this channel to enjoy more videos.